have this like piece that's frozen. Oh no. Is that, is that a giant frozen piece? That's a giant frozen piece of garlic. One second. Hi guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today, you guys, I wanna make a delicious pasta dish. We are making truffle pasta. We're gonna do a completely vegan, creamy, delicious, mushroomy truffle pasta. Guys, truffle is so good. Anything truffle, please give it to me, please. First of all, I'm not gonna be using like the actual like truffle, you know, I don't even know where to get that and I feel like it's really expensive. So instead of using like actual truffle, <laughs> we're gonna use truffle oil and truffle salt and it's still gonna be really delicious, okay? These two are the secret ingredients to having truffle deliciousness all the time at your home for not that expensive. Yes, truffle oil can be a little bit expensive, but um, I feel like these are relatively affordable and it goes a long way, okay? So I already have my pasta boiling. Now we're gonna make the delicious sauce. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get started with the pan. We've already heated this up, it's quite hot already. So we're gonna add some oil or you can use vegan butter. I'm actually using a combination because I already had some oil in here. So we're using a combination of oil and vegan butter. So we're gonna heat this baby up, okay? Lovely, lovely. And then I'm gonna add in some uh, onion. I have some diced onion here. Ooh, a little garlic snuck in there, that's okay. So we're just gonna let that soften, let that cook a little bit, maybe like a minute or so, okay? Now I'm gonna add in some minced garlic. Ooh, I have this like piece that's frozen, oh no. Is that, is that a giant frozen piece? That's a giant frozen piece of garlic, one second. So I have a bag of minced garlic. If you guys want to know my garlic hack, you know what to do, there's a link down below on how I have minced garlic all the time. Clearly sometimes a big whole piece gets, you know, lost in there, but that's okay. So we're adding some minced garlic, let that cook for a tiny little bit, one or two minutes. And now we're gonna add in our lovely mushrooms, okay? Guys, mushrooms are a must, okay? We have a lot of mushrooms here, just diced mushrooms. And we are going to let this cook. Let the mushrooms sweat a little bit. Let this shrink down as it usually does. And then we can continue. guys so now the mushrooms have shrank down they are sweating I'm just going to now set this aside okay we're gonna use the same pan we're just gonna set aside the shrooms okay oh, er, er, er. beautiful and now we're gonna add some more vegan butter or oil on the pan once again melt that down and then what I want to do is we're gonna create a roux. A roux is basically when you take a fat, such as oil or butter, and then mix it with like a flour, and then you like mix it around, and then you pour slowly some like non-dairy milk, in our case, and then it creates like a creamy sauce. Into this lovely oily concoction, we're gonna add in some flour. Now I feel like this might be a lot. Let's see how this goes. We're gonna mix that. Now some people like brown the roux, like I am not a cook, okay? I don't know what I'm, I'm not a chef, okay? I may know how to cook at this point somewhat. So we want like a pasty sort of situation, I think. So obviously the more flour you add, thicker the roux is going to be. So now we have this, and now I'm going to slowly start adding in some non-dairy milk. I have unsweetened almond milk here. You can add in whatever plant-based milk you'd like, okay? I'm gonna use a whisk. Now it might be a little clumpy at first, okay? I may have added a little bit too much flour, but don't worry, as you keep stirring and as you keep adding your milk slowly, it will start to create a nice creamy and thick sort of cream, okay? See, it's already happening. So anytime you wanna make a sauce that's a bit saucy or maybe you have a soup that you wanna make it into a creamy soup, this is a great, very affordable method. The other methods are like, you know, using cashews, which obviously make a really delicious creamy sauce, um, but it can be expensive. And this is generally the easier method. As you can see, it is now getting nice and thick. All right, 
So now what I wanna do is add the mushrooms back in. I want the mushroom taste to infuse into the creamy, delicious sauce. Okay? Ooh. As it's warming up, it's going to become thicker. So it's kind of like a cream of mushroom pasta, but obviously with the truffle, it's gonna be so good, hopefully. <laughs> it's gonna be good. I have confidence. So we're gonna let this sauce thicken, and I think our pasta is basically ready at this point. So now I'm gonna keep this relatively simple in terms of flavoring. I want a lot of the flavor to come from the mushrooms, but we also have a little bit of vegetable bouillon. Okay, this is a half a veggie bouillon cube. This is my little trick, guys. When in doubt, add vegetable bouillon, okay? It adds so much flavor and it's delicious. So I'm just going to crumble it in here. Okay, this is going to add flavor, some saltiness. We don't wanna add too, too much because I wanna add truffle later. So I'm gonna add in more flavor later, but I think about half a block should do. So I'm just gonna let this kind of boil a little bit, let the sauce thicken, and let's go grab our pasta. Okay. All right guys, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it's thickening up nicely. This is a way you could also make cream of mushroom soup. Very simple. Now pasta is done. Now I am going to save some of the pasta water. Okay, just in case. I feel like we don't need it, but let's see. I'm just going to directly Ooh. I feel like I actually have too much sauce, but let's see. Add that pasta in. Now, preferably you wanna add the pasta in when the pasta is al dente, okay? When it's like just like one or two minutes from being completely cooked, I would say. So it thickens up with the sauce. You don't wanna rinse the pasta as well because you wanna keep that starchiness from that pasta. Okay, now, this is a good amount of sauce, let's be honest. So we're just gonna give that a nice mix. At the end, we add our magic sauce <laughs> or our magical truffle. But first, I'm just gonna let this cook with the sauce a little bit to let it thicken a tiny bit more. And then, see you in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm gonna just see how this tastes. And that way I can adjust the flavors. But it pretty much is done, so easy. Mmm. Okay. Legit. You can just enjoy it like this, it's so good. But we're making it truffle -y. So I turn the heat off, and as you can see here, it's thickened up nicely. Ooh, look at that, guys. It's so creamy, so easy. Now I'm gonna add in that truffle flavor. But again, if you don't wanna add the truffle, if you wanna keep this really simple and really cheap, Keep it like this, it's so delicious. Maybe just add a little salt and pepper, you're good to go. But my friends, this is the secret, okay? Just get yourself some truffle oil. It's not cheap, I'll link where I got this down below. But I swear to you, I've had this for a very long time because a little goes a long way. You don't need to too much and you add it at the very end and it really gives you that truffle flavor. So I am just going to pour it in just a little, okay? And my other secret sauce, truffle salt. Once again, this one, I've had it forever. It's still, I'm still not halfway, okay? And I use this quite often, and um, I think this one's actually a little bit cheaper. So if you wanna stick to the cheaper thing, just add a little bit of truffle salt at the very end here, and then it's gonna give you that delicious truffle flavor. I'm just gonna give this a nice little mix, and um, I think we're gonna have to try it right from the pan, guys, before we plate it. Just gotta make sure, you know, this is a scientific experiment, okay? I need to make sure it tastes good. Okay. I'm hot. Now truffle, honestly, I'm gonna add more. It's so good, a truffle flavor. So good, and that's why I don't wanna add too, too much flavoring until the end here, because I wanted to add truffle salt, and obviously truffle salt is still salty, so you don't wanna add too, too much. So now we're gonna plate it, and then that's it. Well done, let's plate. guys 
Well, I've already tasted it, but we gotta taste it again because finally it has the final presentation. So at the end here, I added in a little bit of fresh parsley because, you know, you always gotta add in some fresh parsley and a little bit of black pepper. So we're just going to, God, you guys, it's so good. It's so simple, you guys. And of course you can add in some chickpeas or something for some protein or eat it with the side of something. Cheers, guys. Cheers to a mushroom or vegan truffle pasta, okay? Oof. Mmm. Mmm. Guys. You do not need to go to a restaurant. Do not waste $20 on a plate of truffle pasta in a restaurant when you can make it at home. It is simple, it is easy, it is so good. And oh my God, this is why I never get pasta when I eat out because I feel like I can make better at home. All right, you guys, so that was the vegan truffle pasta recipe. So delicious, so, so simple. And again, if you just wanna leave the truffle out, you can just make it a cream of mushroom pasta. It's so good, you guys, and honestly, I definitely recommend trying it out at home. Recipe is linked down below for you with all the measurements and everything. It's all in a blog post. And I would really, really appreciate it if you do try this recipe to give me a five-star review on the recipe that helps my blog a lot. And of course, guys, give this video a big thumbs up, which also helps, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure you check out my eBooks. The links are down below for all my eBooks, especially my newest eBook, which is the No More Cabbage Soup Weight Loss Recipes eBook. So definitely check that out links down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.